Welcome everyone to Coffee with the President. I'm going to turn this around here for you all. Susquehanna University. I'm here with President Jonathan Green. Thank you so much for having us here. Oh, it's a great pleasure. The best dressed president, <laughs> as you can see, in the country. It's really amazing. This campus is beautiful. We've, we're filming an episode of the College Tour. Have to watch it when it comes out. So thanks for having a little coffee, taking a little time. Oh, we're we're really thrilled cool to have you here, here, Alex. Thanks it's so really much. cool. When you describe this university to your family, to your mm -hmm. friends outside, what do you say? I think of all the places in higher education that I've had the privilege to work, this is the place where the entire community is the most dedicated to every aspect of the student experience, whether it's the housekeepers, the faculty members, our alumni. Um, uh, this is a place that is just all in to make sure that our students have the best experience that they can, the best outcomes that they can. And it builds a really great sense of community because you see the students also embracing that same kind of culture and looking out for each other in ways that is, is really inspiring every day. It really is inspiring. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. President does not know this. I was just filming Ask Admissions mm -hmm. and I was meeting all the staff over there. Half the younger staff, or no, sorry, all the younger staff went to school here. Yeah. All of them after graduation, they went off and worked mm -hmm. other else and they all wanted to come back here. And I was like, oh, it's really, it really just shows the culture and the community here at the university. Well, and, and I've heard a number of those young people say, the person who helped to recruit me to the university helped me to make the best decision of my life and I want to pay that forward. And uh, so that it, That's again, awesome. it's, it's, it's this tradition of culture that, that uh, is, is a thrill to watch and experience. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. One of the things we were talking before we started rolling on this, that every student here gets the opportunity to study abroad. 95% of students are going abroad or somewhere here Actually, in the States. Actually, 100% do, do a, study, uh, a study away. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a couple of things that are unusual about our program. One is that we have a class before they do the study away. We call it GO, Global Opportunities. Um, and in that class, they work to prepare themselves to be sure that they take the best advantage of of what they're doing. Because until you study your way, you, you, you don't know the skills. Yeah, yeah so, you don't even know how to think, how to think right. about what should I be thinking about. So faculty right. help build up the kinds, of, the kinds of skills they need, the questions they should be thinking, then they, they go on their study away. And what's specific about ours is that you have to engage in a culture different from your own in a meaningful way. Um, and yeah, I mean, if there's anything that we need now, it's being able to work across difference. And uh, so they're building that toolkit. They get a chance to work on it, often with service projects where they are. And then when they come back to campus, they take another half semester class where they unpack what happened. How, how am I different um, from what's happened uh, over, the, uh, over the course of this time? When we say that they, it's culture is different from their own, it could be a Pueblo community in, in uh, New Mexico could be far more dramatically different from their hometown than say London, but we have students doing business internships in London and uh, students engaging in native cultures in Hawaii. Uh, but every single student has that experience before uh, graduating from the university. And I was, as I was saying earlier, that, that um, when I talk to students just before graduation, every one of them will say that that was one of the most important experiences in their development while they were here. I mean, kudos to this, the, the, the program. And even, I didn't know like what was happening before, yeah. before they even go. And then the, the fact that they come back, because I, I say this a lot. I did it twice and once in high school, once in college, it was by far the most important thing I did as, in my youth. And so the fact that you're offering these opportunities in the students age and becomes part of the fabric of the culture, because right. I'm sure now, you know, seniors are talking to freshmen and it just becomes, you know, um, what an amazing experience. And, and one thing that, that uh, we often fail to acknowledge is that we also build it into our financial aid um, so that our students who are coming from families uh, that are the most challenged in being able to provide a college degree for their students, they also get the most help in, in terms of uh, putting together their GO program so that, that students can select the GO program that is best for them. Wow, that's amazing. Let's, let's further up on mm -hmm. this because there's a couple pieces that unpack about sure. the affordability. I just know that affordability, accessibility is, you've done a lot for this university. It's been a big, you've been a big champion of that. You want to talk about that? Well, sure. It's actually how, why we were founded. Um, I mean, there's this extraordinary um, a faculty member at um, uh, a seminary who was recognizing that there were, um, at that point, young men who were called uh, to be missionaries and ha didn't have the ability to afford the college education they needed to do this. And he thought, you know, if they're talented, passionate young people who want to do something important in the world, 
he had to figure out a way to make it happen. And so he reached out to our community um, and said, would you consider doing this? And I said, well, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a building and some land if you also provide a traditional college education uh, for our sons and daughters who, who aren't drawn to that work. Mm -hmm. And so we were um, born uh, both as a traditional uh, liberal arts college and a seminary. And eventually the liberal arts college is the thing that persisted, but access was part of why this building was built and why the campus was built. And we pride ourselves on still having one of the most economically diverse student bodies in the country. Wow, that's amazing. Another another amazing piece of the history and the fabric of what, um, you know, ties this community together. It really is. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is that it, it's so clear when I talk to alumni and when I talk to my colleagues, the great pride that they take in being able to uh, uh, provide these opportunities for, for all of our students. Yeah. That's awesome. What, what's the what's the future? What, what, when you look down like in, into the future of this university, what do you see? What, what, what's what's coming down the pipe? Um, well, we continue to. Do, one of the things that that I think is also a hallmark of our educational programs is that, along with the foundation of a, tra a traditional liberal arts education. Uh, we have um, elements of, of application in every single discipline. Every student graduates having done independent research um, or creative work. Uh, working alongside a faculty member is a mentor in that work. And we continue to find ways in how do we take uh, the strengths of the liberal arts and apply them to real world problems, whether it's um, uh, really our nation uh, national leading program in uh, stream ecology and the work that we're doing to help uh, clean up the waterways um, and helping communities to do that uh, to publishing and editing. I mean, we're one of the few English departments uh, in the country that's growing because uh, we're combining both the intellectual experiences of a traditional uh, college education along with hands-on opportunities in the publishing and editing program. On campus, students edit and publish uh, more journals per student than any other college or university in the United States. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I mean, you I mean, you really have like separated yourself in the liberal arts, even how you talk, you know, it's uh, it's exciting what's happening. And, and of course, the whole the whole beauty of the liberal arts is that it helps helps us to understand where we fit into the world, mm -hmm. um, how we interact with each other, the ways in which, um, in some ways I, I like to say that we're here to build better neighbors. Um, and our students are drawn here because they want to be the best neighbors they can. They want to make the world around them better. And sort of having that that uh, understanding of what humanity is all about, and then building in uh, the kinds of skills that you need to actually affect change in your communities in positive ways um, is, is what my faculty colleagues spend all of their time trying to develop and promote with our students. It's so, he's, you're, uh, President Green, you're so impressive. I mean, thank you so much for having the college tour. Thanks for taking a few minutes here. It's uh, got to watch the episode. And, and most importantly, as we are continue to say, you got to step foot on the campus. Like, Absolutely. you know, you know, learn about it all from, from the episode and, and these, and these, um, these interviews. But at the end of the day, you got to come check out the campus because the culture, the people, everything here, it's just, it's like, it's palpable here and it's a uh, really exciting where it's an honor to be here well, and it, it is one of the most beautiful campuses in the country but it yeah. becomes all the more beautiful as soon as you start talking to the people who are here yeah, absolutely uh, it's great to have you here yeah thank, thank you. you so much all right everyone take care